What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. In today's video, uh, we're going to be talking about the Battle Pass and the new packs. I wanted to hit this video and talk about this before the new packs came into effect for 1.1, so hopefully you guys are catching this video uh, before tomorrow, which is the 10th. Uh, the reason being is because it looks like there's going to be some new packs coming to the shop. Now, before we get into the packs, I wanted to talk to you guys specifically about the Battle Pass. Uh, because the battle pass looks like it's going to be exactly the same. I know, I know, I hear you. You guys are probably expecting uh, new weapons in the battle pass. I was, I was hoping. But it looks like they're trying to stretch this out. Um, and I was getting a question on stream as to whether or not uh, you should just get a weapon that you already have and max your fine. Or if you should just try to get all of the weapons. Now the kicker is this. Uh, considering that every six weeks, let's just assume that they're just going to keep this battle pass up and this is just it. Um, it would take you a long time to get all the weapons and max refine them and we don't even know if they're going to end up adding these to the standard banner or not. So these could be a one time thing so if for collection sake you're just trying to get them just to have them even though you have no intention of using them go for it. If you guys have the worst weapon pulling or summoning luck in the world uh, then I would say it might be more beneficial for you to invest in refining these weapons so you can maximize your damage output here and you guys can look at each of your battle pass weapons to confirm uh, whether or not you know you feel it's strong enough or it's helpful for you like the black sword I think could be really really good um, you know just because it's just already OP not to mention that on these weapons you get the base crit so it's gonna help you guys out regardless and that's kind of my take there so unfortunately Battle Pass looks like it's going to stay the same, uh, at least for a while. And, and and if this is any representation of what the pattern is going to be, we're not going to see new Battle Pass weapons for at least six months. So let's just <laughs> hang out, be patient, and just see what happens. Now, for my pay-to-win peeps out there that are buying the weekly packs, there are some new packs that are going to be coming to town, along with Santa Claus. And the first pack is going to be the Adventurer's Instructional Bundle, which comes with 30,000 Mora. 40 adventure rank XP, okay, which is gonna be really good. And this bundle costs 100 Genesis crystals and it's 40% off for a limited time, can be purchased up to five times in total, all right? So it looks like they're placing more of an emphasis on being able to actually build your characters now, which is kind of nice, even though we're still kind of gated by resin. Uh, the next one up is going to be the Adventurer's Ore Bundle, which is going to be Mora times 30,000, uh, Mystic Enhancement Ore times 25. Okay, and this bundle costs 120 Genesis Crystals. You can buy this up to five times in total as well. And that's a lot of ore. Now, last but not least, we're getting another one called the Adventurer's Special Bundle. So now three packs this time. And the amount of packs, listen, you guys can just expect for these to uh, just keep going up. But this one comes with 120k Mora. 40 heroes wit right even more character xp and you get the exotic share bundle which then gives you uh character ascension materials now you guys can get these for 680 crystals uh, but you can only buy these three times in total so now this uh refreshes every week pretty sure these refresh every week i don't know if these are going to stack on the old pack that was already in there but for those of you guys uh who are buying the weekly packs i would make sure that you guys get the old pack so you can just knock it out, right? <laughs> so that you guys can be ready for this one to reset. Because it doesn't look like these come with any Fragile Resin. And Fragile Resin was the big selling point of the last one. But it doesn't look like they're going that route this time. Not that it matters anyway. Because level 50 to 60 for me personally is going to take 10 years regardless. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to show you guys these. So if you guys are thinking about buying the weekly packs. You guys got an opportunity to get a ton of uh, weapon XP and character XP. If you guys are having issues leveling up your characters. Or have a shortage of materials. Uh, you guys can look at these and for like 100 to you know I, I would say the first two packs like 100 to 120 genesis crystals is actually kind of a steal like i i don't think man, i probably wouldn't pass on those i mean it's kind of a good deal now the 681 eh, it's arguable if you need it get it if not you know it's up to you but I, I personally will probably pick them up. Um, I'll let you guys know how they fare. If you guys got questions about them, just ask me in the stream. And then we'll talk about it. But yeah, so that's that's what I'm looking at. But again, guys, just wanted to share this information with you guys. Talk to you guys about the battle pass and how it's basically going to be the same. Um, and then, you know, whether or not, you know, what you or what you guys should do with that, depending on, you know, where you're at in the game. And then also, again, showcase the new packs coming uh, on Tuesday at 2 p.m. So I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.